everybody knows Minecraft. If you don't, try it, it's such a good game, and in my case, it's my favorite game. So today, I'm going to be answering a question that's been going around the community for years now. How much weight can Steve carry? But I'm going to go further. Can Steve collapse into a black hole? For the uninitiated, Steve is the main character in Minecraft, and he's renowned for his absolutely superhuman physical capabilities, and we'll get to them shortly. Specifically, his inventory can hold anything, a lot of anything. For instance, take iron blocks. Imagine the weight of one meter cube, because in Minecraft a block is a cubic meter, of solid iron. But items can stack in inventory slots up to 64. So imagine that block of iron 64 times. But there are 36 slots in the inventory. So, well, yeah, you get the deal. All that carried by one single person. However, the question I've had for a few years now is, is it possible for Steve to collapse into a black hole by packing too much stuff into his inventory? Okay, let's lay our cards on the table. Steve has 41 inventory slots if we include the crafting grid and the offhand. Most items can stack up to 64 in a single slot. However, using shulker boxes, which are like portable chests, we can hold 27 different slots in a single slot in the inventory. That means Steve can hold 7,848 stackable items in his inventory. The first thing we could try is to pack 70,848 of the densest blocks into his inventory. If you've ever played Minecraft, you might say that netherite blocks are the densest. However, compression would be getting into crafting recipe physics, which... Let's try to avoid that. And netherite has been theorized to be the equivalent of platinum, which is lighter than gold. So an alloy between these two would be lighter than just pure gold. Speaking of gold, it just so happens to be denser than iron, gold, diamond and everything else. So. 70,848 blocks times 19,300 kilograms per cubic meter, which is the density of gold, gives us a total mass of 1,367,366,400 kilograms. But how do we find out the mass we need to make a black hole? Well, this is where our good old friend physics comes in with the equation for the Schwarzschild radius, which is the radius at which something needs to be compressed to make a black hole. This equation is r equals 2gm divided by c squared, where g is the gravitational constant, roughly 6.6743 times 10 to the power of minus 11 meters cubed per kilogram second squared, c is the constant for the speed of light, about 299,782,458 meters per second, and m is the mass of the object. So, substituting the constants with their values and the radius with half of Steve's height, which is about 1.8 blocks or meters tall, we can modify this equation so that it gives us the mass needed. In this case, we'd need a mass of... Um... That. That is insane! And the weight we calculated is nowhere near it. We're gonna need to try harder. Unfortunately, this means getting into crafting recipes. So, we're not going to use netherite, as this would be about 3 blocks of gold per block, but notchables, which have 8 blocks of gold per item. Don't try crafting this at home, as this recipe is exclusive to versions up to 1.8, because it was removed in update 1.9. Ignoring the negligible mass of the apple itself, as you may be able to deduce, this would just multiply a result by 8 which is also nowhere near enough. The next thing I thought of was actually the latest April Fool's update, the Poisonous Potato update. This update includes a wacky block made of poisonous potatoes, which can be compressed into the quadruple compressed poisonous potato block. This block is comprised by a total of 59,049 potatoes, packed together, or what weighs more, 6,561 cubic meters of potato. According to the internet, the density of a potato can be up to 1.63 grams per centimeter cube, or 1,630 kilograms per meter cube. So the mass of one of these blocks 
is 10,694,430 kilograms. If we multiply this by a number of slots, we get about 757 billion kilograms. Or in other words, nowhere near enough. Alright, we're gonna need to get creative. Let's get into Minecraft's fluids, one of the most physically absurd things you can find in the game. In Minecraft, the two fluids we have are lava and water. Um, we, we don't talk about it. <laughs> and even though lava is indeed 3.6 times denser than water, ice blocks, which are frozen water, can be compressed three times into blue ice, which is composed by a total of 81 ice blocks. And here's where the fun part comes in. Look at what happens if I melt a single block of ice in this setup. This has already been done by other members of the community. However, I'm gonna give it a spin. Look at what happens if we break the blocks underneath. Exactly! We now have a pyramid made completely out of water from a single ice block. But this was only a small demonstration. If you build a pyramid from the upper height limit to the lower height limit for a total height of 384 blocks, the diagonal of the base would measure 14 times that. Because the water spreads through 8 blocks minus 1 for it to go down, times through for both sides, so the base side length would measure the square root of 98 times that. And bang, a pyramid 1.8 billion blocks big from a single ice block. So now we can compress the ice block times 81 and stack it into the inventory times 7848 for a grand total of that many kilograms of water. Yeah, we're missing like seven orders of magnitude. Now, there are a few infinities I intentionally avoided, like the infinite water thing, the blocks immovable by pistons, which would have infinite inertia and thus infinite mass, etc. Because I don't think it's fair to use them. Of course you can make a black hole with infinite mass, and ignore conservation of energy while we're at it. However, given that we'd need to multiply the mass by 10 seven times, even if I managed to come up with a way to pack more mass, it would still not be enough. But there's one last hope. Without using infinities, and without exploiting glitches. Screw vanilla at this point, we're gonna use mods. And don't complain it's not vanilla because this looks like Minecraft to me. Then I wanna make a black hole. There are mods to increase the build height, but first we need to know how high we need our pyramids to be. We don't need to directly multiply the height by 10 million, as it's a volume, so let's figure this out. To reach a mass of that much, we need each individual item to hold that divided by 70,848, or that's still an enormous number. If one cubic meter of water is 998 kilograms, we divide our number by 998 and we get that we need pyramids with a volume of that many cubes. So, if we want to find out the height and we know the ratio from height to base side length is 14, we get this equation. And we can rearrange this to get the height. If we solve for x using the cube root, we get a height of 640,170 blocks. I don't know if there's a specific mod that increases the height limit to this much, but I've seen people modify the values to increase it to insane numbers or just straight up remove it. So if there isn't, it's perfectly possible to make a mod that does this. So, there you have it. Whether Steve can collapse into a black hole depends on how far you're willing to exploit Minecraft's physical flaws and whether you're willing to dispense of vanillanis. Because, of course, there are mods with directly extremely massive items which could single-handedly collapse Steve into a black hole. I just know I had a lot of fun calculating all of this and now have an answer to the question I've been asking myself for such a long time. By the way, last time I uploaded a video about bananas, which was my best video so far in my opinion, but had a depressing click-through rate and nobody watched it. So I encourage you to watch that next. And as always, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.